Hello everybody, my name is Jim the Giraffe, and yeah, it's been quite a while since my last upload, but hey, it's fine. But in uh, today's video, I will be showing you how to give any mob a pretty much a brand new AI, so you can make them move around. So I'll show you what it looks like, so I'll just do four of these dudes. And so pretty much after it starts, boom, he just starts walking normally on his own. So you know, he's just walking, now he's walking backwards. And then once he gets too high, he will, you know, fall, obviously, and they can't run into walls. Like, boom. As soon as you get to vault, he stops. You go for, like, another dude. And this works with how many people you want. But, hey, this person's moving back. Stops at the wall. He's going to, you know, start to float, but he will, you know, fall back down in a second. Once he realizes, hey, he's floating, and then, it, yeah, boom, it knocks him back down. And yeah, so I'll show you how to do this. So that all this takes is just six command blocks. Four command blocks to uh, show, like, for the movement. And then one to set the movement. And then another one to make them fall back down. But what you first want to do is you first want to run this command. Slash scoreboard, adjectives, add, movement, dummy, movement. And what this will do is it will pretty much just add the objective or scoreboard named movement. And then what you want to do is you want to type in this command, scoreboard players random at E, parenthesis type equals whatever mob you want for mine, it's uh, NPC, and then movement, the thing we just made, then one through four, so one four. And I have that set on 80 ticks or four seconds. And then once we got that done, we can move on to the movement one. And all these things will be listed in the description, so you can easily, you know, copy and paste. And if I'm not giving you enough time to, you know, read that, then just pause the video simply. But then we can just move on to movement one. For this, you want to do flat, uh, execute at E, type equals MPC, comma, scores equals movement equal one, and then wiggly, 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 TP edits, the the forward direction, and then true to make so he won't run into blocks. And then what you could do is you could just copy and paste this command block four times. If there's one little code, four times to change that one to a two, and then see at the end of the coordinates, it's a negative point one instead of positive point one. And this one, you could change up to a three, and then first uh, arrow would be point one, and then... This one will be the same thing, but negative 0.1, and it will be 4 instead of 3. But you can, you know, pause the video for all these. And, you know, again, they're all going to be listed in the description. And then that will pretty much make it so all these people will move. Now, I'm going to kill them before they, you know, go everywhere. Because, you know, they don't have a little box like I made them. But, but yeah, you can make a little, like, you know, house for them and ever. Like, boom, if I go, like, like this, if I just block them in. He will never escape from there. He will not move whatsoever. He will not TP through the blocks. He will try to jump it. He can't jump over it, though, because, you know, two blocks. And he try to jump. He can't do it. And he just doesn't move. And, you know, we can spawn as many as we want. Oh, yeah, we have to do the fall back down. And for the fall down, it's just this. Execute at E, type equals MPC. Wiggly, 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 detect. The minus one is equal to the air block with a zero. The data value, TP edits, one block down. Yeah, you can pause the video. And all of these I have on zero ticks. Besides this one, I have on 80. But yeah, that would be it for this episode uh, video. Pretty short, but it's pretty cool that you can make their own AI in Minecraft for any mob. I just used NPCs because, you know, they're pretty cool. And if you want the NPC spawn egg, just do slash give at P uh, spawn egg uh 151 and then it will give you the npc spawning spawning so i hope this helped you in whatever you were making and yeah i'll see you later bye bye